And today I am honored to be with the mayor of Lviv. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself. Um, this is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe that I've been to. And it's um, a shame, obviously, to see what Putin and the Russians are doing to this beautiful country. But Lviv is really the home base where people are are being rescued. They're running to here because this is this is where they run for safety um, in Ukraine. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about Lviv and what do Americans need to know? Okay, hi, my name is Andriy Sadovy, mayor of Lviv, but Lviv a special city, capital of culture of Ukraine. Before uh, pandemic, we host two and a half million guests. Lviv uh, host 10 years ago, a uh, European uh, football champion. But today, we have a huge hub for IDPs. Uh, and an IDP is an internally dis displaced person. So that's someone basically within Ukraine, especially the East and the South, who's become a refugee within their own country. Uh, two uh, million uh, IDPs passed through Lviv during uh, three months uh, Russian invasion to Ukraine. And uh, 200,000 uh, uh, stay in Lviv in this moment and my duty uh, maximum support our new citizens uh, new accommodation uh, food medical treatments it is huge pressure for 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 my city um, and what he was saying about Lviv being one of the cultural capitals of Europe it's true when things are safe when this war ends God willing um, everybody should plan to come visit this beautiful city. I mean, the culture, the people, the food, the coffee, it's, you really have an amazing city. And I think that in the middle of a war, all of those beautiful things about your city can get lost, but I want Americans to come visit when this is over. So we'll make sure that happens. Um, one of the things that I've been doing here with the Aerial Recovery Group um, is seeing the orphans um, and seeing the young children and the families that they helped rescue uh, and get here to safety in Lviv. Can you tell us, you gave a lot of numbers, can you tell us some of the stories of the family or the wounded or the orphans? Um, what it, tell us some of the stories about those people that are now here. Uh, every citizens today uh, volunteers. We uh, give maximum for uh, new citizens, uh, IDPs, love, home, uh, food. And for me, very uh, difficult moment, host uh, Ukrainian wounded, civilian wounded, women, uh, children, uh, elderly people. Every day uh, we host a special medical train. Uh, I uh, talked uh, last uh, weeks to get uh, with uh, special family uh, from a small city in New York, Donetsk region, uh, boy, uh, 12 year old, and this boy, uh, 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 caring, for. caring uh, mother, mother uh, without uh, Black. Black. Yeah. and uh, sister, uh, 12 years old, without two uh, legs. It, 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 it is crazy for me, but my duty, my uh, responsibility in uh, give uh, they a uh, new chance. I think about new prosthetics, I think about uh, rehabilitation. It's my uh, my task, my goal, uh, built in Lviv, huge rehabilitation uh, center for civilian people in Ukraine. And I need uh, support, I need uh, contact, and uh, every uh, new IDP is, it is huge history. Yes. So I think the mayor showed us some of the pictures. Um, and, and what he's saying, you see this small 12-year-old boy who had to carry his mother who lost a leg, his little sister who lost two legs. He, he had to physically carry the both of them. And, and there's so many pictures. There's so many stories like that. But I think what's really different about this war than the other wars, uh, you know, Iraq, Afghanistan, Americans are used to seeing our troops, our American military coming home uh, with wounds. What's so different about this war is because Russia has not um, discriminated between military and civilian. 
you have much, much, much higher civilian casualties uh, in this war than what we're used to seeing. And so that's why the mayor is trying to get physical and mental rehabilitation uh, for these civilians, because I think Lviv will continue to be the place where people come because it's relatively, hopefully continues to stay safe and open. But also you're looking into things like safe houses for people. I mean, I mean what, now that people are here, it's not just the mental and the physical rehabilitation, they're going to need jobs and housing and you expect them yes. to stay, right? Yes, I expect uh, that after a war, uh, uh, 50,000 IDPs stay in Lviv. And uh, I must think about uh, new accommodation and special accommodation for uh, wounded shelter on the floor. And I think about new work uh, places for my new citizens. It is huge uh, responsibility and I optimist. Mm -hmm. I believe in our future and uh, thank uh, Americans people for support, for uh, land lease, for uh, 40 billion uh, support for, for Ukraine. It's very, very important money. And I uh, think today in uh, Ukraine, we create you uh, our future. Very special moment. It's democratic system and totalitarian system and totalitarian fight democratic. I believe in our uh, David, David fight Russian Goliath. Only victory, only victory together. I love that, that's, that's amazing. Um, you have a donor conference coming up, is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, on uh, June uh, the 10th, we will have a special uh, donor conference uh, we uh, look for partner money for our uh, largest uh, rehabilitation uh, center in Ukraine. We uh, make our uh, center together with uh, Ministry of uh, Health. Welcome, welcome to our conference and together uh, make our uh, future. If Americans who are watching this or anyone around the world, I know we've got a lot of Iranian followers, um, if people want to donate now and help you, whether it's for the donor conference or the rehabilitation center, what is the best way? I, I get this question a lot. What's the best way for people to donate? Uh, I think uh, after a conference, we uh, show a special uh, account yep. and uh, give maximum information for all people in the world. Well, and just a reminder too, if you'd like to donate today, you could go to Ariel, A-E-R-I-A-L, recoverygroup.com. That's the group I'm with here in Lviv uh, that are rescuing these orphans and families in the East and getting them safely uh, to the West. And then we will keep you updated as we get more information on the donor conference. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for having us. We appreciate Thank it. you. Thanks. Thanks.